also because you need to convert this into 4 as well. So, we write 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 1 is 2. That's why we have 2, 4. So, now, we go back to the, our previous lesson which is which has the same denominator, right? So, this becomes easy now. 3 and 5 over 4, correct? Is this the simplified form already? Yeah. Not yet because the numerator is still larger. So, we need to convert this 5 divided by 4. Perfect. Okay, don't do the Kalapati clap yet. I will we'll do it later again. So... I'll just repeat, okay? So the LCD is actually for, we have a multiple of 2 and 2. And since 2 here, this is 2 already. So we get the LCD because I don't think I properly explained it last week. So this is already common. So we just count this as 1. And this is uncommon. This has no common, so we just drop this. That's why 2 times 2 equals 4. But for others... Okay, wait a minute. I'll just get my eraser. But for others, the LCD is, for example, only 12 and 7. The least common denominator... So we have to factor out this first. 12 is equal to 4 times 3, which is also equal to 2 times 2 times 3. And 7 is just uh, factor, so we just drop all of that, them. 2 times 2 times 3 times 7. So, when we get this, we have 12 times 7, which is 2, 84. So, this is the LCD of 12 and 7. So now, let's proceed to our next example. Any questions so far? Okay, if there is none, we'll proceed with another example. I'm sure you'll get this along the way. Okay, next example. So, all of you understood the first example? Okay, you have no questions. So, the next one is, we find the LCD. I, first, we identify is this problem needing some regrouping or not anymore? So, what do we do? We look at first the denominator. Does it need regrouping or not? Yes, it needs regrouping because it has different denominators. So, we find first the LCD of 2 and 3. So, the multiples of 2 is 2 and 1. No, not multiples, the factors 3 and 1. So, because the common is just 1, so 1 and 2 and 3. Multiply them all, we get 6. So, we write everything again. Copy the whole numbers and write 6. 6 divided by 2, 3 times 9, 7. Okay, 27 over 6 plus 2 and 6. So, 6 divided by 3 times 1. Okay, perfect. You're getting it. So, 5 plus 2 is 7. Then 6. Then 27 plus 2 is 29. Is this in its simplest form? Not yet. Because it's an improper fraction with a mixed number. So, we convert it. 29 divided by 6 is 4 with a remainder of 5. So, 5 plus 7 is 12 plus 6 and copy the remainder. So, 5, 6. Oh no, sorry, I'm wrong. Because 7 plus 4, right? 29 divided by 6 is 4. 24, 5. So, the remainder is 4. Add 7 and 4. It's 11, not 12. I'm so sorry, class. And 5 over 6. So, this is the final answer. So, any questions as of this point? Oh, yes, Rio. You have a question? What is so it? What if, I, what if I transform 5 and 9 halves into a proper fraction? 
Oh, that's a very good point, Rio. Actually, if you try to manipulate using smaller values, it, it will be easier for you. But for some as well, it's easier if they manipulate if they do it as is. So we'll try the solution of what you are proposing. So we this is actually an improper fraction, right? Good point. So we convert this first. So 9 to so 9 divided by 2 is 4. So add 4 and 5 is 9. We have a remainder of 1, right? 1 half. So 9 and 1 half plus 2 and 1 third. Since we already found the LCD a while ago, which is 6, so we just use the LCD now. So 9, so 6 divided by 2 is 3 times 1, 3 plus 2 and 6 divided by 3, 2 times 1, 2. So we add them up, 9 plus 2, 11, and 3 plus 2, 5. So is it the same answer as before? But this is the shorter one, so that's a really good point you have here. Because this is simpler. But if you want to still proceed like this, then, and you like challenge, then it's very much acceptable to just do with this. Just be sure that you arrive at the same answer. So let's proceed to the third example, so you'll get it even more. I know you already got it, but so that you'll understand it better. We need practice to practice. So the third example is 21 and 3 over plus 2 and 6 over 7. The examples I used here are also found in the exercise part of the book. So you can also do it at home. So this is 4 and 7. They are not the same, so this problem needs regrouping once again. So the LCD is 4, 7, the multiples of 4 and 7, 4. Actually, it's 2 times 2 times 1, 7 times 1. So bring everything down because 1 is just similar. 1 times 7 times 4 is 28. So 21. 28 divided by 4, 7, times 3 is 21, plus 2, 4, okay, so 28 divided by 7 is 4, 4 times 6 is 24, yes, correct, and we have it too. So, please guide me with what the answer is. 21 plus 2, 23, and 45 over 28, good class. So, it again is an improper fraction, the numerator is larger than the denominator, so 45 divided by 28 is 1. 1 plus 23 is 24, and 28. And so 45 minus 28 is, I believe it's seven, 17. Okay, so we got the answer. So any questions up to this discussion? None anymore? Okay. Okay, okay. So now let's do a recap. So what we did was that we checked if the problem needs regrouping or not. And for sure, when it needs regrouping, we need to find the LCD. In finding the LCD, also, there is actually this method, the one with, that we are doing. But there are also others who don't like to find the LCD. So what they do, so when they get this, for example, 1 and 7, and, for example, no, not, not 7, let's use 4 and 2. They don't like finding the LCD, so what they do is they immediately mu multiply 4 and 2. So, 8. It's 8. So, 4 divided by 8 is 2 times 1, 2. 
plus 1 half is 4 over 8. So we arrive at an answer 6 over 8 which is also equal to 3 fourths. That's what they do when they don't like finding the LCD. They just sum. I, I, exp I encountered some students who do that. Just multiply directly because for them it saves time and they're comfortable with it. But if we find the LCD, you know that the LCD of 4 and 2 is 4. So if we find the LCD of this, this problem. So 1 fourth plus the 1 half is 2 fourth. So we immediately go to 3 four. It's actually up to you. You still arrive at the same answer. But make sure you still follow the rules of mathematics. So next is first, again, we identify if it needs regrouping or not. We need to find, if it needs regrouping, we need to find the LCD. And then what we do is we transform it into similar denominators. Then, if it's already the same, denominators are the same, we can already add. And then, upon finding the result, we need to check if it's already a simplified fraction or it's still improper. If it's improper, then we convert it to that. Okay, let's give ourselves a Kalapati Club class. Woo! Perfect. Okay, I like your energy. Okay, please make sure that you are writing in your notebook. Okay, good. It's good that you're bringing your notebook. Okay, we'll proceed now with our drill. Again, I told the class that you need to practice at home. But you also need to practice mentally. Why? Why? Ask me why. Why? why? Because if you practice mentally, it will save you time. And there are also other students who solve mentally, but because they are not practicing it, they make mistakes because they just solve it mentally. But actually, it's not discouraging that you cannot solve mentally anymore be just because you make mistakes. That means you just need to practice so you avoid making mistakes. And mental solving also, like for example, finding the LCD, you don't need to go this long process because you can already solve it mentally. That's just a tip. It's up to you also to discover where you are comfortable with. So let's proceed now to our exercise for the day. Guys, for the day. So, the first problem is, I'm sure you're, you'll get this. Two and one half plus three fourths and equals, okay, is this clear enough? Can you see this at the back? Okay, good. Okay, let me call is Rio around? Ah, okay, Rio, please come here the front and please answer this. I'm sure you'll get it. Okay, make sure your answer is in simplified form. But you're already doing great. convert it to the mixed it's fraction, fraction right so 7 divided by 4 no that's already correct that's the same denominator 7 divided by 4 is 1 remainder 3 so the remainder you write here and the 1 you add to the whole number so the answer is 3 and 1 4 no the remainder 7 divided by 4 the remainder is 1 3 Correct. Okay, that's right. Please let's give her a Kalapati Club class. Woo! Woo! Okay, here is your prize for doing a great job. Yay! Yes! Okay, next we call on. Okay. 
according to my magic paper, the next one to answer our question is, oh yes, she is around. Chris, please stand up. Okay. Oh, but let me write the problem first. I'm so sorry. Number 2, 3 over 7 plus 3 and 2 over 21. Okay, please answer this. I think you're getting... I think you got it already, the idea that we need to find the LCD. Okay, you may sit down. Yes, that's good. You found the LCD, which is 21. But I think you went wrong somewhere in between here. Because you got 23. But when we break it down, it's actually... So, when the LCD is 21... 21 divided by 7 is 3. So times 3 is 9. Plus 3 and 21 over 2. So is it, it's equal to 3 and 11 over 21. Okay, so that's the correct answer. But still, I will give you another try. So I'm sure you'll get it. You just got confused here somewhere, but... We'll check again. Okay. We'll check again another problem. Still the same. It still needs regrouping. 11 and 5 over 2 plus 3 and 2 over 5. Okay, Chris, please honor us with your solution to this problem. Which leads us to the correct answer, Chris. This is you. As for our assignment, so you already got it. So I need you to practice this at home and in the library if you can. That's your assignment. And for our activity tomorrow, we're still under adding fractions with regrouping. I want you to prepare a pie. This is just a paper cut into a circle. And then you divide this into 12. Uh, no. 24, 24 slices, 1, 2, 3, up to 24. So do 3 like this and we'll practice this so you can relate it more in real life situations. So thank you for your cooperation. It's been nice and really a fruitful discussion with you, girls and boys. So you may now stand up and proceed to your next class. Thank you and goodbye. Bye, teacher.